Hello everyone, welcome back to J Hunter Media. My name is Jason and this is uh, part 10 of the Sky, uh, Skyrim Let's Play. Um, we are doing the Thor Stormbringer uh, series. <laughs> um, and once again, I forgot to tackle his immortality. Alright, so... Um, off camera, I traveled to um, Kings Kynes Grove, so I'm pretty much here. Um, we get to the map, yeah. So that's where we need to be, and we're here. This is perfect because we're just. I think after we do this, I think we got to go here because um, I can join the uh, storm cloak, and since I'm closer there than going but all the way here to join the, um, the Imperial so um, so yeah we're trying to um, so a blade in the dark so I I think this is we're still continuing this is the main storyline we completed act one I looked I looked on um, well, I googled it and looked at all the quests so this is the first part of part two of the main quest all right so we got to locate the dragon burial site Oops. Yes. no you don't want to go up there a dragon it's attacking yeah. well I don't know not yet it flew over the town and landed on the old dragon mound. I don't know what it's doing up there, but I'm not waiting around to find out. So I got us close to it, which is cool. I I think I killed a thief because he was just wasting my time, and I killed a bear, a saber tooth, a bunch of wolves. Oh, there's the dragon. Salukunir, zil kro tova ulsa. Well, at least I get my archery skill up.
Ooh, awesome. One of the last members of the Blades. A very long time ago, the Blades were Dragon Slayers, and we served the Dragonborn, the greatest Dragon Slayer. For the last 200 years since the last Dragonborn Emperor, the Blades have been searching for a purpose. Now that dragons are coming back, our purpose is clear again. We need to stop them. Not a damn thing. I was just as surprised as you to find that big black dragon here. Not a damn thing. Oh man, sorry. I was sorry. just as surprised as you to find that big black dragon here. Really? Where? Interesting. Same dragon. Damn it. We're blundering around in the dark here. We need to figure out who's behind it all. Not a damn thing. I was just as surprised as you to find that big black dragon here. Oh my gosh. I was just I'm sorry. You, you see me trying to click here. the other one. Exactly. Nobody even remembers our name, dear. We used to be known across Tamriel as the protectors of the Septim Emperors. Those days are long gone. For the last 200 years, we've been searching for the next Dragonborn to guide and guard as we are sworn to. But we never found one until now. The first thing we need to do is figure out who's behind the dragons. The Thalmor are our best lead. If they aren't involved, they'll know who is. Okay. Um. The faction that rules the Aldmeri Dominion, the ones who almost destroy the Empire, Great War 30 years back. There's no worse enemy to humankind in Tamriel. The Empire barely survived the last war. The Thalmor don't intend to lose the next one. Nothing solid yet, but my gut tells me it can't be anybody else. The Empire had captured Ulfric. The war was basically over. Then a dragon attacks, Ulfric escapes. And the war is back on. And now the dragons are attacking everyone, indiscriminately. Skyrim is weakened. The Empire is weakened. Who else gains from that but the Thalmor? Before the Great War, the Blades helped the Empire against the Thalmor. Our Grand Master saw them as the greatest threat to Tamriel. At the time, that was true. Maybe it still is. So we fought them in the shadows, all across Tamriel. We thought we were more than a match for them. We were there. If we could get into the Thalmor Embassy, it's the center of their operations in Skyrim. Problem is, that place is locked up tighter than a miser's purse. They could teach me a few things about paranoia. I'm not sure yet. I have a few ideas, but I'll need some time to pull things together. Meet me back in Riverwood. If I'm not back when you get there, wait for me. I shouldn't be long. Keep an eye on the sky. This is only going to get worse. Alright, so we completed a blade in the dark. Alright.
Um, we're not gonna go do that one exactly. Let's see, find the source of power. Okay, yeah, I wanna do. I wanna join the storm cloak, and then maybe possibly going to these places, because the more places that we find, the fast, the more we can do fast travel and make it easier. Uh, the travel between missions or quests. And the reason why I'm thinking about going to Okay, there's nothing. Alright. Alright, so we go here. Oops. I wanna go to map. Okay, well, Dawn Star. Well, that's kind of cool because we can definitely stop in between these places to get there. So we're not too far. Oops, wrong one. I think it's probably best if we go down the mountain. Plus, I want to check this place out. Oh, before we do that, let's see. I think I can, since I absorbed another. Yes, through voice. Um. Okay, yeah, I I have a soul. There we go. I like the whirlwind sprint right now. Oh, actually people camping. Okay, I just had to because like there's no one around. They're all asleep.
I need to ask you to stop. That shouting is making people nervous. Can't say I've heard of any laws against it. Whatever that is you're doing. But I'll lock you up if I have to. <laughs> Whatever. I've got my eye on you. The Thuan! He summons the Thuan! That's the helmet I need for Thor. Eat our food, you pollute our city with your stink, and you refuse to help the storm folks. We have it taken aside because it's not our fight. Hey, maybe the reason these Grayskins don't help in the war is because they're Imperial spies. Imperial spies? You can't be serious. Maybe we'll pay you a visit tonight, little spy. We got ways of finding out what you really are. Oh. <sighs> Do you hate the Dark Elves? Are you here to bully us and tell us to leave? You've come to the wrong city, then. Windhelm's a haven of prejudice and narrow thinking. Unworthy of one such as you. Nothing new there. Most of the Nords living in Windhelm don't care much for us. But Rolf is the worst by far. He likes to get drunk and walk around the Grey Quarter yelling insults at us in the small hours of the morning. Oh, a real charm of that. Nothing new ah, there. No sorry. Living in Windhelm don't care much for I hate when that happens. Walk is the worst by far. He likes to get drunk and walk around the Grey Quarter yelling insults at us in the small hours of the morning. Oh, a real charm of that. Nothing new there. No! Most of the North Not living again. in Windhelm don't care much for us. But Rolf is the worst by far. He likes to get drunk and walk around the Grey Quarter yelling insults at us in the small hours of the morning. Oh, a real charmer, that one. Some of these Nords will come up with any excuse to despise us. And it isn't just the Dark Elves they hate. They make a target of the Argonians as well. In fact, just about anyone who isn't a Nord is fair game for their bullying. Okay. I need to ask oh, you to stop. That shouting is making people nervous. Can't say I've heard of any laws against you, whatever that is you're doing, but I'll lock you up if I have to. I've got my eye on you. <laughs> Don't take this the wrong way, but you look a little sickly. Again. There's been another dragon attack. Kynesgrove this time. Okay, it's Kynesgrove. Ogrith will give us a straight answer. He's a true Nord. He'll come around. Don't be so sure of that. We've intercepted couriers from Empire's putting a great deal of pressure on the White Run. The strong cloaks are and fighting what victory you across the land. If he's not with us, <laughs> only the foolish or the courageous approach a Yarl without summons. Do I know you? Is that so? Ah, uh, yes. You were with us in Helgen. Destined for the chopping block, if I'm not mistaken.
Ray loves a lion. I hope that's true. He's a damn good man, but he hasn't returned yet. So I'll need to wait for his account. For now, speak with Gama. I'm always looking for able fighters. Not everyone can say they made it out of hell. Seems we're all branded villains these days. So long as your criminal past stays in the past, and you fight for me with honor and integrity, we'll welcome you into our ranks. He knows that. They all know that. How long are you going to wait? You think I need to send Bolgraf a stronger message? If by message you mean... Hmm. Hell no. Dovra told us quite the story. If you made it through all that, you're likely worth something to me. Yeah, but first, tell me, why does a foreigner want to fight for Skyrim? Fair enough. But are you willing to die for your home? All right. But before I can put you to use, I need to know how much you can take. I have a little test for you. That's what I like to hear. So long as you can back Thor up, can handle anything you throw at me. I'm sending uh, at him. Stone Sorry. Iron. If you survive, you pass. If you die, well, you weren't going to be much use to me anyway. It's where men have tested their metal for ages. It's a strange rock formation built by the ancients. Something about that place attracts the ice raids. You kill an ice raid out there, and I'll have all the proof I need about you. Only the ones I'm not sure about. This will prove your abilities, but more importantly, it will prove your commitment. We'll see about that, won't we? Here, take this. You need it. Use it on the island. Don't lose it. That's all the help you're getting. Try not to die. Taking his city and leaving him in disgrace would make a more powerful statement, don't you? So we're ready to start this war in earnest then. Alright. So... Alright, cool. I s still want to do that, but we're going to go ahead and do uh, joining the storm club. Gotta see what he. Uh, I still see. What item did he yes. Something about. I got three of those. All right, two of those. Thief. Scroll of Dread Zombie. was merely a message to the other yards. Whoever we replace them with. Spare a coin for an old woman, my lord. Spare a coin. Talos rewards the generous. Up to no good, are we? I'll teach you. 
it'll cost you. You must level up to train. Oh man. Alright, well, I guess I can't. Alright. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. The divine smile on a charitable soul. Let's see. Oops. I want to try to find a place that I can temple. Hmm. Secret the Aretino boy is doing some ritual trying to call the Dark Brotherhood. But who's going to stop him? Me? I'll have no part of that. Oh, yeah, that's one of the. Then it's true what everyone is saying that Aventus Aretino is doing the Black Sacrament, trying to summon the Dark Brotherhood. Oh, Grimbar, always with the nonsense. Of course not. Okay, well, I was trying to find like a a trade post or. Then I'm right. I knew it. He's trying to have somebody killed. All right, I won't deny it, child. What you heard is. dead. My mama died when I was little. I... I don't remember her very well. My father was a storm cloak soldier. One day he left and didn't come back. I'm all alone. I... I try to sell flowers so I can buy food. It's not much, but what else can I do? Uh... I don't have a house yet. But, uh, next time I'll... I'll come and dump. Let's see. Use where? Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let me know. I might have it stored away. All my goods are legitimate, which is more than I can say for some. Of course nothing in here is stolen. Only a careless, shameful, idiotic fetcher would do something as stupid as to buy pilfered goods. Oh, by Azura, I've made a terrible mistake. I bought a gold ring, and Viola Giordano has been missing a ring that looks just like it. It's not that easy. She'd go to the Jarl if she knew I was even remotely involved. You have to get it to her some other way. Look. It's dangerous, but if you sneak the ring into her house, put it in a dresser or something, I will make it worth your while. Okay, cool. Um... Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Uh, 
Uh, still stuff that. Copper with ruby. Hmm. Okay. Uh, potions. Oh, he doesn't have. Let's see what books he has. Healing. Ooh. Uh, those are probably. Let's see if we can sell some of my stuff here. Alright, we've got the speech up to level 25. Uh, I guess I'll keep that stuff. Anything that I have to have. I gotta keep my book collection. I've scraped this collection together by whatever means I could. I do some business with the trade caravans, and I've picked up a number of items from adventurers like yourself. A few intrepid souls even brought some items back from Morganstar, the fort southwest of the city. Don't let Viola catch you in her house. Alright, well, well, we'll do that later when we come back. Still trying to find uh let's see. be on the lookout. The butcher could be around any corner. I was one of the best soldiers in the Stormcloak army until I took a sword to the chest. Surprise he's still alive, taking a sword to the chest. How can I help a brother know? Uh, 
I hear you. Everyone says Yorland Greymane is the best smith in Skyrim. Every bit as sharp as what you'll find in White Run. I respect Yorland, but he has the good fortune to work the Skyforge. Something about the fires. Their steel just holds tighter. If that makes any sense. I don't see these troubles as business. This is a labor of honor. To bring Alfred his rightful glory, I would hammer a thousand sheaths. Shores bones. I might just have to. The finest weapons and armor. There's steel boots. <laughs> That's still looking for. Maybe what he has. Oh, lockpick. So I'm going to end um, part 10 here. So we uh, completed a blade in the dark, end up killing uh, another dragon, uh, and then we joined the Stormcloak, and we're about to um, go do a trial to prove our worth worthiness, which will continue in part 11. So uh, thank you for watching part 10. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.